Welcome back everybody. We have another Big B booster box opening. Today we're going to be rolling it back to Ixalan. This is going to be the first box of open of this set. Kind of goods we got here. Okay. So we got the rummaging goblin. I'm just gonna roll through a couple commons here. Diviner, some pirates, prying blade, brute, pinjana's collar, storm fleet, pyromancer, spreading rot. <laughs> Looks like Rudy's companion. Okay, to the on commons here we get Emergent Growth, Imperial Aerosaur, Bishop O, the Bloodstained, and the rare is Coppola. Is that Francis Ford Coppola, Warden of Waves? Spells your opponent's cast at target of merf merfolk you control, cost two more to cast. And also abilities. Uh, your opponents activate that target cost two more. Oh, foil land. She's a beaut. I kind of collect foil lands. Um, just over time, I've always kind of thrown them in on trade if, when and if possible. and I had a bunch of Lorelin, I guess. My buddies and I did a lot of drafting of Lorelin. <clears throat> I may have bought a box or something, but I think I bought a box when we drafted it. Um, I had a couple of the islands that were about 15 bucks a piece. I had no idea. Slice. Oops. Slice and Twain. Fury. Cannonade. Another Imperial Aerosaur. And Advances Blasting Cannons. Oh, and a little proxy card with a treasure. We, we got some treasure, boys and girls. I'm going to skip to the commons here for you guys' sake. Probably seen plenty of videos with all the commons and stuff in them when the, ver when the set first came out. Remember the Mighty, Call of the Feast, Old Growth Dryads. Enters the battlefield. Each opponent may search his or her library for a basic land card, print on the battlefield, tap, and shuffle his library. It's a 3-3 three, three for one green. That's pretty fatty. But giving up a mana ramp that uh, could kill kill you in just a basic land with more treasure. Our mighty. Coffee. 
because coffee. Okay. Got the nest robber, aka homebreaker. Or should I say home wrecker? We got a flying dustborn sky marcher vampire. Some navigator's rune. The lurking chupacabra. And the shaper sanctuary. Whenever a creature you control becomes its target of spell or ability and opponent controls, you may draw a card. And another planes. Some more treasure. Who don't like treasure, right? Okay. Skippy skip skips. A little too much skippy. Sheltering light. Bellowing air sore. An air elemental. Goring ceratops. Oh, it's. It's pretty vivid there. Um, interesting. Oh, a foil skittering heart stopper. I think I got another foil insect in my last box. And some more treasure. Must be lots of treasure in this bad boy. Makeshift munitions, fine shaper mystic, another or a raptor hatchling, and the thematic compass. Marpoke token. Navigator's run. Ruthless knob. Snapping sailback. Star of extinction. I can't remember. I think that's a, one of the better ones. I could be completely mistaken though. Sheltering light. Walk the plank. I haven't seen that one yet. That's pretty sweet. A non merfolk. Hmm. So I th you would think it'd be pirates, because pirates always be making people walk the plank. Maybe merfolk or you can't drown merfolk, huh? They can breathe underwater. Maybe. Who the heck knows? Burning Sun's Avatar. When it enters the battlefield, it deals three damage to target cre or target opponent and three damage up to one creature. It's for a six six. And then uh, yeah, a little proxy card with a with a vampire. Mm -hmm. Commons. Got some favorable wins that the Kite Cell Freebooter is drafting while the Storm Fleet Spy is spying and gets a glimpse of the ashes of the Aberrant. Players can't cast spells from graveyards or activate abilities in graveyards. Whenever a creature dies, uh, you gain a life in a swamp. Skip to a sen sentinel totem. 
Lightning Ray Crew, R D, Tepic Count Master, Sanguine Sacrament. You gain tw twice X life, and then you get to put it on the bottom of your library. It's an instant. Ooh, Foil, Drover, oh, the Mighty. It's kind of a dark, you know, you get your little, little creepy little creepster here. Pretty dark, though. Pillar O Origins, Dinosaur Stampede, Seeker Squire, in the Kanjanas, Kanjil. Jalas Kanjalis Sunwing with the planes to boot. That is, I like that arc where it, it, almost, it looks very layered like 3D. And coffee. This is Billy. Hello, Jim. That's correct. It's a latency problem. Yeah, it does both. Sometimes we can't stream direct TV. Sometimes we can't. Uh, we have lagging issues. Um, lagging issues. Okay. I'll be here. All right, thank you, sir. But I do apologize, guys. So that was just a, a gleaming example of how corporations work. Um, and what's what's forgot? Not forget. We got an Admiral Beckett at Brass here. Okay. But you have plenty of time to look at that. So I apologize about taking that call. So. Let's just lead into this, you know, corporate customer service, AT&D there. I called yesterday. I've been having uh, latency issues for a while. So I talked to AT&T and they'll say, someone call you between 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. tomorrow. 12 hours be sitting around. So I figured I'd get this started. I'm shooting this video. It's about 7.45. I figured I have time. And... Uh, course I get the call and then they have to ask what's going on like they haven't been informed or something and I really don't have a lot of patience when I've already went through the whole oh tell us everything you're doing turn your head and cough blah 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 and then I have to freaking repeat myself to the repairman what do you think I mean, he's asking what kind of issues I'm having, what latency problems. I mean, what el what else could there be? Of course, I'm having lagging problems because I'm not getting a good connection. <clears throat> Makes me want to rip my hair out. <clears throat> I have Safeco Auto Insurance. I had to do a hell claim not too long ago. They gave me the damn runaround too. I had to go do an online thing, answer all these stupid questions. Where's the hell damage at? This, this, and that. Then the stupid adjuster, first one I talked to, says, "Oh, just go get an estimate from your local, from one of our body shops, and send it back. I'll cut you a check." Well, I do that. By the time I send it, that person's already been fired, or left the company, or whatever it was, um, and replaced twice so I was on my third person and then they come to I send them the estimate and they said no we don't 
we have to send a person out to you. So I went and spent two hours at the local body shop for nothing. The guy, the adjuster, calls me and says, "Well, uh, I sees here uh, says here you got some right front end uh, damage from a deer, possibly." This makes me want to scream. It's like, why do I have to go answer these stupid questions? online before I even talk to somebody to file a claim and then you don't even give the information to the people. What's the point in it? Kind of like my phone call with AT&T yesterday. What's going on? I'm experiencing lag problems. Uh, is it uh, connected? Is it uh, Wi-Fi? What, I'm experiencing latency problems. I mean, good God. Sorry, I had to go off on a little tangent there because of that phone call messed up my video and uh, I don't really have any editing software at the moment not at the point where I have enough subscribers to spend kind of money on programming just doing a little uh, gig in my basement here opening boxes that I'd probably be opening anyways and just sharing it with people and uh, so if I stop this video then I have to go look at editing programs and have watermarks or it, it was just one of those deals where it, it was good content because you got to hear the phone call and the idiocy that you have to deal with in corporations here you know it's freaking at and t this is supposed to be the number one you know company uh the largest company and just none of these companies got their shit together and it's like all these ceos get paid all this freaking money and uh, but yet they don't even run a very tight ship. It's all about the bottom line. It ain't necessarily about the customer service. Um, just get burns my balls. So the root bound crag. Um, like to see it. Like to see it. So if you if you stayed through my phone call there, I appreciate it. Um, Some people get pretty serious and that type about that. Not professional, whatever. Well, you know what? I guess I'm not professional. <laughs> Arsonist, shapers of nature, Angrath's marauders. Source. You can roll a deal damage to opponent or player it deals double that damage. That's pretty mean. Pretty hefty casting costs, though. Now nah, I gotta drink coffee now. That's yeah, just the way you gotta go about anything anymore. You gotta be on want. You gotta call somewhere, go through a stupid menu, you don't have the options half the time. You get to someone, they ask you all these stupid questions instead of just freaking listening to what the problem is from the get-go. But at least they didn't run me through the rigmarole of going and resetting my internet. Of course I've already tried that. Um, so at least they didn't get me all flustered because of that. Oh boy! I don't know if this is a good one. Again, I'm very poor at that. But it is a planeswalker. It is help me, warrior poet, because I can't say that. Plus two, you get a gain life to the greatest power among creatures you control. Or you can pay zero to create a little 3-3 three, three dino with trample. And a negative X, well, who gets to negative X anyways? And a freaking... Well, I guess... You could start off with negative X, huh? But a lot of times, ultimate ability, it's hard to get to. I die or they do. Especially like in a blow stack. So, at the time of this filming, filming, the new set is coming out. The pre release would actually be this weekend. I doubt I get this video up before then. But definitely looking uh, to um, the new. Is it. Uh, Rivals Allegiance, or yeah, no, Exelon Allegiance, or uh, Ravnica Allegiance, yeah, or Ravnica Allegiance, yeah, yeah. Got a vampire, got a vampire. Mm -hmm. 
So he's going to be getting pretty close, so I need to start popping through these. We have the old growth dryads. Uh, yeah, I pulled one of those earlier, but it's a foil rare. And then we got a dousing bagger. Boom. So he's probably one minute out and it's been at least five. Ooh, Drowned Catacomb. That's one of the better ones. And a foil Wiley Goblin. Wiley. Is that like, was Wiley in Mega Man? I mean, come on now. Help me out here. I'm getting old. I'm getting senile. Yes, I was probably like five years old when the first Mega Man came out. Rigging Runner, Chupacabra, Tracker, Brazel. Ooh, Foil Cancel. Probably not worth a ton, but it's a Foil Cancel. Another compass. So we got Orange Paper Mystic, Lancer, Deathless H. Ooh, I don't. That's not. That's not a good one. But it is a a a a a, a, a planeswalker. Scoundrels, Hill Ruin, Archer, Blasting Cannons. Come on. So we got Rallying Roar, Voyage, and Archer. And other cannons. Two in a row. Get out of my face with that. Got a Dino Stampede, Minotaur, another Angelus, and the Sanctum Seeker. get a quickie in this morning but that's the way you get them to get him get here in early is you start doing something raptors and an avatar sorry that went in the screen very well blinding fog so we got a speaker Rallying Roar. Ixalan's Binding is a good uncommon and repeating barrage. It's not too bad. Got some Dark Nourishment there. That is wicked. That is wicked. This this right here is Creepy Rudy. This is the Timmy. He is sucking the life right out of the Timmy. It's like a, like a Highlander type deal. He's sucking all your ABU cards out. Sucking all the money out of Magic. We got a totem, hunt master, walk the prank, and Imperial's bad card with the diviner. Fire cannon, vanguard, sword tooth, sunbird's invocation. Okay. I 
I skipped uncommon, captain's call, cannonade, minotaur, got a captain. You left here. <laughs> So we got a uh, aerialist, sky tear, charter course, ruin raider. Uh, so we got a horn crest, another exiles binding, another sunbird's invocation with a foil. That is so looking. Original rejuvenation. I mean, this looks like there's blood in the water, like he slit his throat or something. That's a little gro uh, grotesque or something like that, right? Totem, Spineback, Huntmaster, Fleet Swallower, oh, last pack. Where's this now? Murfolk Branchwater, Huntmaster. Another one of these Dusk Apostles, and nothing else. Well, we made it through the box. Uh, I may have a little an aneurysm. But, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you hadn't, uh, if you can, hit the like, subscribe. I plan on doing some more videos. Um, until then, have a blessed one.